a lot of you out there. <coughs> On behalf of the senior class of Ocean Springs High School, I would like to welcome each of you to the graduation ceremony for the class of 2013. Welcome OSHS administration, faculty, school board, friends, and welcome families. Well seniors, this is it. We started from the bottom, now we're here. <laughs> started from the bottom, now our whole team is here. <laughs> Since this speech is a welcoming address, I'd like to talk about some of the things we welcomed this year. It certainly has been a year full of welcoming. We began by welcoming our new high school, a school with hallways the length of three football fields, a school which, to our dismay, did not have a secret bathroom. This year, sitting in school traffic became an exciting form of entertainment because of the goats that lived across the street. <laughs> And speaking of traffic, this year we were very fortunate to not have very much of it. We welcomed a mashup of hit songs in the hallways. We welcomed a spirit stick and said goodbye to the cookouts because no one likes free food anyway. <laughs> During second walk, we were welcomed with the new abridged version of the morning announcements. Good morning, nation. Will you put Pledge of Allegiance? <laughs> And we said goodbye to the cafeteria and welcomed the cafeteria. <laughs> we are and will forever be the first class to graduate from Ocean Springs University. <coughs> While yes, it was a difficult transition, we still got to boast that we attended the most beautiful high school in the state of Mississippi. And while some of us longed for the comfort and familiarity of the old high school, the new high school made a much better campsite. Nostalgia. It's an odd concept. Sentimental yearnings for times gone by are sure to plague some and inspire other seniors tonight as we walk across the stage. In elementary school, Boy Meets World taught us, life's tough, get a helmet. We got through Pokemon, Neopets, MySpace, in preparation. However, in our high school years, we digressed a bit. We welcomed Instagram, Voxer, and that thing that lasted two days called PATH. We witnessed the beginning of Kesha, and Rebecca Black taught us the days of the week. Some of us were able to relate too seriously to Katy Perry's last Friday night. We learned how to plank, Harlem shake, and the economic significance of thrift shopping from Macklemore's point of view. We are going to miss the advice, irreplaceable personalities, and memories that Ocean Springs High School offered us over the past four years. We will miss Mr. Baggett's sweater vests and his miraculously growing overnight winter beard. <laughs> Coach Wallace's unique pronunciation of words. Ms. Hirsch's advice to adjust, adjust, adjust. And Mr. Widdens and Mr. Hawkins's philosophical monologues about life. I wanted to refrain from preaching my own sentimental quotes that belong on an inspirational poster. But of course I was not able to, so here they are. Mahatma Gandhi once said, the greatest class of all is Ocean Springs High School class of 2013. <laughs> In all seriousness, my wish for each of you as you leave the sandy coastline, the sunsets of Front and East Beach, the oak lined streets of Ocean Springs, is to explore, dream, and discover. I hope you sail away from the safe harbor. I hope you surround yourself with others who bring out the best in you and let go of those who do not. Smile, laugh, see the simplicity in life, and never wander away too long from those who love you. By this point, we have each come to the realization that life is about to become vastly different. For the majority of us, this past semester has been the most life-changing as we welcomed our decisions for next year. Tonight, we formally trade in our Greyhound paw prints. Tonight, our seniors officially become Rebel Black Bears, <laughs> Eagles, Bulldogs, Jaguars, as well as an assortment of other zoo-like or jungle animals. Only symbolically, I hope. As we enter college, the military, or the workforce, I have one wish. It may be cliche or obvious, but it's this. I hope that you are happy. 
My most prevalent wish for my fellow seniors is that we all remain on the pursuit of happiness. In the words of the Beatles, whether it rains or shines, it's just a state of mind. From the should have been food fight in eighth grade at the middle school, to the sophomore year pep rally at which all but three of us sat down in protest because we knew we should have won that first cookout, to staking out all night with toilet paper, string, and shredded paper during junior and senior homecoming weeks, we are a class full of free spirits. We think differently. Sure, we may have faced a few consequences, but that's okay. Revolutionaries make the world more fun. To summarize, in the words of Nora Ephron, I hope you will find some way to break the rules and make a little trouble out there. To summarize an Apple slogan from the 90s, here's to the crazy ones, the rebels, the round pegs and the square holes, the ones who see things differently. They're not fond of rules, and they have no respect for the status quo. You can quote them, disagree with them, glorify or vilify them. About the only thing you can't do is ignore them. Because they change things. They push the human race forward. And while some may see the, them as crazy, we see genius. Because the people who are crazy enough to think they can change the world are the ones who do. Class of 2013, I cannot wait to see where your dreams take you and how you will change the world. Again, welcome to the first day of the rest of your lives. Have fun tonight, bask in the glory that you each have earned, which culminates at this ceremony. And finally, seniors, always remember, yes, prom tickets will be sold at the door. <laughs>